What up, YouTube? All right, guys, just thought I would give you a quick update on the Innovative Marine RSF 50. This is one of the newer sumps by Innovative Marine. It's 50 inches long. It's quite the beast. Uh, definitely not used to acrylic sumps. I've had large Red Sea sumps before. Uh, this is my first acrylic sump in, well, I'll say since the early 2000s, maybe 2005, so quite, quite a ways. Um, there's a lot of interesting features on this one. Some I like, some I don't. Let me just go through it real quick and show you a little what's happening here. So you have your main drain and your secondary drain coming in here. Then through your heater compartment is right through here. However, uh, it's quite small. I mean, this might work on some of your um, smaller models or you got to have smaller heaters. So if you are a Eheim heater person, uh, this is a 300 watt heater and it will not fit. However, my BRS 300 watt heater does fit in there. Um, so that's nice, but you could also potentially put the heater, if you are a, a Eheim heater user, you could potentially put it in the skimmer or the refugium chamber. Okay, so another nice feature of this is you got some cord management here. However, you can put one here. Let me get, that, get in there and see if you guys can see it. Um, that's the BRS 300 watt heater. But you can't put two of them side by side to use this one. So I have to play around with that. I need, I need to get another 300 watt heater element to see about that. So the flow comes in through here goes in the heater compartment and into your filter cups. And there's three large filter cups. So open this up here. I do love the acrylic covers for this, it's nice. You got some silencing um, cup holders there, a little filter mesh, there's a pre-filter, and then you get into your filter cups. And they come out pretty easy. I'll pull one out and you can see what they look like. They're um, quite large. What I find so interesting, and I don't understand why I am did this, these little things, they're actually like cloth balls, something that you'd see on top of a stocking cap or maybe a stuffed animal or something. I'm not sure what the heck they're thinking. Um, do they work? I have no idea how they work. I have no idea. Am I going to use them? doubtful very very doubtful there's not a whole lot of information on the web as far as what they do what their point so i'm just going to do what i normally do with filter cups is put some matrix in here and then filter floss on top and just change it out every three days all right so that, that's out of the way i think one of the biggest downfalls of this sump and i don't understand while Innovative Marine made a sump that is not roller mat ready. Now, yes, you can get around that. So if you want, this is just an idea here, you could potentially bypass the whole filter cup area and plumb right into like the Red Sea or what have you for your filter roller. Or you could potentially set it up with two gate valves on your main and secondary, run one into your filter cups and then one into here is another possibility. And then you can use your skinner and your refugium section if you want to do it that way. But that's, I don't know, man. I just think that's kind of kind of strange. I, maybe I've just been using the Red Sea sumps lately a little too much where you have the removable filter socks. And that's just like game changer. You can just do what you want. You can make your way. So that's nice. Also, what's quite interesting about this sump is you have some nice little uh, water level indicators here. So that, that's kind of interesting. You have them on both sides. All in all, I do like the, you know, look of the sump. Uh, my plumbing, which I've used for my last large peninsula, uh, was black and white. So this just fits right into that theme, which I'm going to use again, which I really like. Moving on into the skimmer section, 
One little tip here, um, there's also dosing holders here, and you want to move these out of the way before you pull up these things or else uh, could be bad. So you have a fairly nice large skimmer section here. Water just goes right through there into your effigian chamber. Got some holes down here. So the water flows in here through your skimmer section or your, whatever you want to put in here. Most people will put a skimmer. Um, possible, I'd be curious to see how people would plumb in a roller mat should you choose to do that. You got the nice little lead which helps with evaporation. Um, pretty nice, P -p pretty big. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up using this lid here or not. Most likely I am. Moving on to the refugium section. One thing, uh, another thing I dislike about this is this is this little holder for their innovative marine uh, fuge light. On larger models, it just doesn't seem like it's gonna be worth much. Um, Probably great on the, on the smaller models, but the larger models, eh. So my plan is I'm going to mount the IM blade, Fugilite, on the bottom side of this, and then light the uh, Fuge. So that's my plan. We'll see how it works out, but, you know, that's my story. I'm sticking to it as of now. You got a nice baffle in here. Water can overflow this into a couple sponges and into the return section. Get a nice return section here. Comes with a piece of black tubing so you don't get vibration. And then emergency drain. Uh, one thing to note that the return is three quarter inch where the emergency and both main return, or excuse me, both main drains are one inch. I kind of wish that they would have just done a one inch all around just for plumbing parts and all that, but that's fine. Back here, you have a couple dosing tube holders as well as some cord management or do dosing holders there as well. These just screw down to tighten and it can clamp down on your cords or what have you. Okay. It also comes with two different sizes for your ATO return. Um, I'm not quite sure what they are off the top of my head. I took out the big one and put in the smaller one. You know, I probably will not use this one because I'm using a vast um, ATO, so that probably won't work for me. All right, so this is what the sump looks like, guys. Uh, all in all, I am pretty impressed with the sump. I think it's pretty, build quality is pretty good. Uh, I kind of, I do love the color scheme, the black and white. I think that really look, works really well for me. Uh, you know, I got it because I got it in the package deal. It was only a couple hundred dollars more in the package deal. So I said, what the heck? And I didn't want to build one. I was thinking of a 60 breeder. Or perhaps we're using the sump in my Red Sea 650P. Um, to be honest, I think I like glass sumps better. I don't know, and the jury's still out. I just got this bad boy. So we'll see. You know, we'll see about how, how it goes. All right, that's a quick little overview of the innovative, innovative marine sump. Cheers.